I think I definitely expected Leggett to be a more, like, I guess, cohesive town. Because that's what we kind of framed the project around. It's like, the small place called Leggett, like, what is this community? The conception of a town called Leggett, as I'm beginning to understand, it's not necessarily what we think of when we think of, like, small town. Hi, I'm Becca. This is Glenn, Lily, Weeing, and Sebi. In the summer of 2013, I went through the chandelier drive through tree in the town of Leggett, California for the first time and came back with this souvenir hat. When people asked me about my hat, I realized I'd only driven through. So I decided to go back with my friends and make a documentary about the tiny town with the drive through tree. Coming into a space, making a documentary, not knowing where I was going, not knowing what the outcome was going to be. I think not having that connection makes it harder for me to invest. Some of us have done this before, some of us haven't. Some of us are roommates, some of us, um, you, well no, at one point we've all lived together. <laughs> to have that, that friendship and that background with your crew is really amazing. Um, and now we're just kind of learning how to function together um, and make this film, which is something that is not easy for a bunch of people to do who've never made a film together before. Even like us getting in the car is like so much more efficient now. Like everyone like knows like, okay, you're gonna sit here, I'm gonna sit in the middle, and then we just like pack into the car and like we go. Yeah, only Lily sits in the middle. We could be heroes forever and ever. <laughs> I'm personally really enjoying living off the grid. The first time I drove here in the summer of 2013, uh, we drove right through. We stopped at the tree and we kept on going. And staying here for this long, I think, is really making me realize how much even a place like this has to offer if you just stick around. They're great. The kids are great. That's really yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. The tree is, while large and beautiful, not the only thing that exists here. It's just one of the many beautiful things that exists in this area. We've seen a lot of different people, a lot of different characters, a lot of different colors, and they're all kind of unique in their own way. Like each location that we visited has had a different connection with the redwood trees, a different connection with the location, and you know, Leggett in general. We haven't found any organized religion here, but for what we've seen and what we've heard, the trees and the air and the river are their spirituality. It's kind of like being a kid. You know, you, you, when you're a kid, things are huge and the trees are huge and you kind of feel like you're really small in comparison and that's kind of fun. The vastness, the sublimeness of like tall trees everywhere and not having cell phone signal. I was born in LA, raised in LA. So like, you know, people talk about like smoggy air. I'm like, what are you talking about? I just breathe all the time, it's fine. But like, you know, you're here and you're like, oh, clean air, wow. I can like feel it in my lungs. Like people like LA, people like, you know, cities, but it's always like with caveats and the people here don't really have that. Like if they had to do like a list of pros and cons, it would, almost all be pros. It's a luxury to have a few days um, around really spectacular views and forests and whatnot, but it's not um, something permanent for me. We kind of just as a crew assumed that either people lived an isolated life here or they chose not to and went elsewhere. And I think having that narrative made me think more about myself and how I could also do something like that. Every night I kind of have gone to bed with these thoughts racing through my head of, oh my gosh, like what a great day. I Like all the people we talk to, like I'm, you know, we came and we interrupted their business, some of them, and we're happy to let us talk to them. So I, I feel really 
um, humbled and <laughs> humbled and humbled. I feel really honored to have, to have been let into these people's lives and really um, grateful. Yeah, we did it. <laughs>